welcome to a quick guide on how to get the summoning material for Phoenix and all its divine intel to have it at max level in Final Fantasy Rebirth. I'm Sif and Yiga and this is only boss fights and without further ado, let's dive right in. First off you will enter the Junon area at chapter 4 after leaving the Mithril Mines. You won't be able to get all the divine intel till you are able to enter the Crow's Nest. To be able to enter the Crow's Nest, you will need to do the When Words Won't Do side mission in Lower Junon from Rhonda. So we are going to explain this as if this has been done. The first Phoenix Sanctuary will appear on your map after activating the first Remnant Wave Tower, which is northwest of Gabe's Chocobo Ranch. This will show on your map north of the Chocobo Farm. Now you will need to catch the chocobo of the area which can climb up the rock faces that have graffiti on it first. As you head to the north, climb up the cliff and head straight forward. Climb another cliff and you will find Phoenix Sanctuary Alpha. As with the previous Titan Divine Intels, you will have the same mini game to complete to receive it. Do this and you will have the first divine intel for Phoenix. The second Phoenix Sanctuary will appear on your map after activating the fourth activation intel Remnant Wave Tower, which is easternmost tower and is northwest of the cove with all the shipwrecks in. Follow the path northeast and you will find another Chocobo stop. Head north from here and you will see a glowing rock. Destroy this and it will guide you up another cliff. Here you will find Phoenix Sanctuary Bravo. Go in here and do the mini game and receive the second divine intel. The last Phoenix Sanctuary will appear on your map after activating the fifth activation intel remnant wave tower, which is the most southwest of the towers in Yunon. This is east of the Shipwreck Cove and you can take the path straight down from the 4th Remnant Wave Tower. Now this one is if you leave the Crow's Nest Camp by the south entrance you will find a glowing rock. Destroy this and it will lead you round east along the coast and into a cave to Phoenix Sanctuary Gamma. Do the mini game and receive the third and final Divine Intel. Now that we have all the divine intel, head back to Chadley to take on Phoenix. The Phoenix is impervious while the creature it spawns are alive, so you will have to take out all the fiends that it's spawning using their weaknesses. Once they are defeated, the Phoenix will be pressured. I recommend using Barrett because his level 2 focus shot can add half to its staggered metered when pressured and has the best weapon against Phoenix because it's resistance to melee attacks. Also do not use fire damage because the Phoenix will absorb it and will heal it. While you're fighting the fiends that it spawns, watch out for the phoenix's attacks, which include a diving attack and flame waves towards you. Also make sure you have someone in your party with cure because the rebirth flame move is unavoidable and also spawns in free fiends.
After this, the Phoenix can do Crimson Emation and cover part of the arena in flames, causing massive damage and taking out a team member if not careful. I recommend keeping Barrett alive and just firing as much of his weapon arsenal till he's down. And once he's defeated, that is how you get Phoenix's strongest form materia.